Well, hello and welcome to Gmodism Total Notary channel. This is ACF Missiles D Ultimate Tutorial, where we will go through all the steps because I might say, why, why not just, you know, look through it all. So when you spawn into Garry's mod, you have your ACF menu here. And here on, you know, it's on the regular ACF menu. Uh, I also have ACF Extras installed, but it doesn't affect missiles. Um, but it's the missiles we will look to, and they are spread all around the place here in guns, as well as there is a little um, radar tab here. And these types of radars are um, only for detecting launched missiles, so you can use them as, you know, defensive systems. And uh, there are a lot of different missiles here, and you can see the air-to-air -air missile, for example, are radar-guided. And radar-guided means that the missile, you know, launcher, this is the launcher part, has the radar installed in it and connected up to the missiles. So actually the radar type of missiles doesn't have to be connected up to anything. That's really convenient. We have different types of bombs, you know, lots of different missiles here. Uh, and it's described on the missiles basically what it is. Here we have three types of unguided missiles. Um, well, the unguided missiles are, as you might imagine, not guided. The unguided missiles work very similar to other types of missiles, you know, or other types of uh, weapons in ACF. Well, let's connect uh, a bunch, <clears throat> a few bunch up. Uh, sometimes you can go down the uh, options here. Let's see if you choose one and just select a bigger rack if you like to. And well, we'll just do with this one. Um, and basically, with these missiles, you have to connect up an ammo boxes too, and bombs also. You need ammo boxes because these are supposed to be, uh, you know, reloadable. And now it's a bit stupid because um, basically the name on the unit isn't, you know, written. So you just have to remember what you choose and then go down to armor. Um, all missiles are available in high explosive. Some missiles have also armor piercing high explosive and heat. But most, most missiles are high explosive, as you might imagine. And then you just go down the list here and totally remember what to choose. I think RS-80. Yes, it's one. Uh, and then you all. Just take a large ammo cube here. Then you have the regular settings, you know, propellant length and projectile mass and HE filler volume and you can just play around with these a bit until you find a setting and a muscle velocity that's nice. So here you choose what type of missile it will be. These types of missiles are all unguided, that's dumb, that's, you know, nothing like that. Uh, contact. It will explode when it hits another target. However, it can be better to have it timed because if it's on contact, uh, if you fire it on close range, it just might get stuck in the sand and never exploding. Uh, so if it's timed, it will eventually explode anyways. Uh, aiming delay, you can set if you want. A trigger delay, I think that after 20 seconds is fine. Then you spawn your ammo box, could fit kind of many ammo ammunitions there. You go to wire, you connect active to mansions, then it will be always active when um, there is still shots left. However, um, if you make a vehicle, I would connect it up to active on the vehicle, um, just so that <laughs> your weapons won't be misfired as easily. And. Uh, 
Uh, now it's very interesting because the ACF missiles actually um, you can blow them up um, when shooting on them. Like if somebody has a missile sticking out, uh, you can blow it up and it will, you know, cause them huge amounts of damage. So reload has to be done manually. Um, you can of course set up a system that automatically reloads but it is to my recommendation to keep your missiles and bombs reloaded by you know clicking a button so that you can reload it when you know you wanna fire them because if you fly around with missiles sticking out all over the place you might find your vehicle in a swarm of hurt very quickly Alright, this is like a regular ACF weapon. You just click fire and it flies away and boom, explodes. And then you have to reload it on every shot because now I don't have the weapon pack with me. I don't think these will activate it, you know. Regular weapons won't, but ACF weapons will. That's however how Dirt Missile works. It's a very easy. Yeah. So I show you, you know. Let's just uh, look at the bombs too. Just remove this beauty here. And the bombs work the exactly the same way. Uh, and the bombs I'm talking about now is the general purpose bomb. Um, so of course the general purpose bombs are very simple bombs. You mount them on, you know, planes, airships, helicopters maybe even um, and you need to select the you know right ammunition of course these bombs do much damage um, but they are also <laughs> not so easy to hit with so if you just go to 50 kilo bomb 500 close Propellant length is, of course, not available. You just drag out the max force you can get and update the ammo. Connect this up. Oh, it's active already. Reload on that one. And then you have... Fire. And now it can be a bit confusing because... Uh, it's just oh no now we broke the link anyways uh, because you see here target position and target entity is still marked even though it's not available well you can drop a bomb there and it will explode you can also wire up detonate and it didn't work oh well it's because uh, you know probably some safety function you can detonate in one place maybe uh, if they didn't detonate you can put them out of time or something like that not sure so uh, we will move on to uh, yeah I just uh, around the dumb missiles I just have to show off the folding fins um, the folding fin aerial rockets are very cool because they are seven missiles in one little pod and they're you know very fast like that so you can fire very many missiles um, also they are kind of uh, protected or no not really that's another type of missile. These are, you know, it says vulnerable to shots and explosions. I think it's what I'm talking about is down at the unguided. Maybe this one. Oh well. Never mind. Um, the missiles that look protected are usually more protected than the missiles that are sticking out. However, 
Okay, let's connect up this and you have to load uh, every missile. What? You have to load every missile, you know, uh, clicking a button. So you have to click some time to, you know, get it loaded. And it's the F -f 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 AR. And that's basically folding fin aerial rocket. All right. I guess that's fine. And these are dumb, of course. Contact timed, battery setup timed. Well, don't do this this time though. But uh, these missiles are very fast acceleration, so they don't get, you know. As the acceleration is fast, they usually don't stack in the ground. Anyways, uh, now let's. Is this the fire? No. Okay, this is the load button. So you just click this and load this up, and you see the missiles physically in there. And then you basically can just fire a swarm of missiles like that. Very nicely. It's nice. The damage they do are not huge, but uh, they pack some punch. All right. Let's move on to the guided stuff. In the guided, we have air to air missile, we have air to surfing missiles, we have guided bomb units, which is basically the pageway bomb. Uh, it's only the pageway bomb available, actually. I guess, uh, you know. The need is limited, so you know. Not so many people want it, so it's okay with one mole. Um, air to surface missiles, and well, that's it. Well, that's it, I guess. But they are of course different missiles um, in each of them. We'll begin from the top. Aim nine. Um, so this is basically, you know, the missiles of limited range, but they are designed from air to air to fight, air to air fight, um, mid range aerial combat, and they have infrared homing missile um, system. So we can't connect them up to anything. They are, it just are. And you can select if you want a single or double rack for this particular weapon. So it's the AM9. We go into ammunition. I believe. I wonder if this one is in. is available in this variation. And it is not. It's usually the heavier missiles that can be available in heat. Um, so it's just a explosive, which is what you will use most. Well, you can tweak your stuff, we just set up something random like that. Dumb, we select radar because uh, that's better. And here we can choose optical, um, which detonates it when it's close by. And radio, which basically, <laughs> when it's, when the distance becomes, you know, from us. So it's, you know, it will detonate <coughs> if it's out of range of us and basically hope <coughs> it uh, kills anything. Well, time it's, uh, you know, easiest to work with. Nine, you know, 30 seconds trigger delay. And here we load them. Um, oh yeah, I need to right click and fire on this one, reload on this one, and these are not used as it's already connected up, uh, so we don't need to link that up. And here we can click and load our missiles, and you can see if you go to this, you can see that fire interval rate is one second and reload is uh, almost four seconds. That's basically the amount of time you have to wait between pressing that button. Anyways, let me show you how this works, just excuse me.
yeah. So, um, these are not that agile and they just basically hope they will hit something that's in front of them. So if we put a prop, you know, at medium range in front of it and just hit fire, you see, it will try to turn towards it, but its agility is really limited. So when you are a bit away and you kind of aim your missiles in the right direction and then you just say, you know, okay, come on, fire, and it will try to hit it. And it won't always hit it, but sometimes it will hit it. Um, so that's basically the rule of thumb here. You can see it's damaged, as you can see on the texture. It's not destroyed, but you know. Uh, the larger the target, the easier it is to hit. And it basically targets anything that happens to get in front of its way, kind of. Uh, and it just tried to steer towards it and blew it up. And that's basically, you know, it's very simple. Uh, it's very simple. You just connect them up that way and you need to be sure to select um, radar in the ammo type. And that's basically all you have to do. I want to blow up some stuff though. Fire. All of them miss. They're so stupid. Well, they try to hit, and it, if it was a bigger vehicle, they probably would. Uh, if you want to be a bit more risky, you can connect up reload to, uh, you know, like this, the same button. So basically, every time you fire, yes, it will reload at the same time. So that's something you can do. Um, now we go to the ACF menu again and auto air missiles as we said they are radar guided. Everything that is radar guided works this way. So we go to these missiles um, the, the difference between the outer surface is that they are heavier than outer air missiles and may only be wire or laser guided. Wire or laser guided is um, basically um, we can steer them. All of these are, I believe, all of them in one, you know, menu. It's basically the same. Um, you can select uh, if you want four or two of them. Or crazy, we select four of them. And this is the AGM 140. We go to. Now, these are available in heat, I believe. We just scroll down and here. AGM-140, it was right. Yep. Um, select up some stuff, projectile length, crush cone angle, he filler volume, you know, the regular stuff. Select, you know, what you want. Um, Downbore laser, well, if you use this type, you should use, you know, the nice type. Select up time too, because, you know, better too. Here we have it. They're heavy, not that many. Um, connect up reload to one button and fire to the other button. And now we actually need to wire something up that will, you know, help us hit. The reload interval is eight seconds. Wow. Now, uh, there are lots of way we can connect this up actually. Um, we could basically select the GPS, you know, we could put a GPS here, somewhere in the air. I don't know exactly how agile these ones are. And then we could uh, 
target position. No, wait, it's entity. It's probably entity. Maybe vector works. And then if we fired it, it will try to hit the point. Well, it's kind of useless. I just wanted to make that point that you can do that. But what you actually want to make like for a useful system is probably Ranger or Target Finder. Uh, Ranger is a lot more fun. Target Finder is a lot more, uh, you know, lazy and easy. Um, we will make it, you know, when, we, when you make this, maybe you will battle other ACF vehicles or um, in some cases, maybe NPC, I don't know. Um, but you want to sh you want to select, you know, what you want to target. So probably target vehicles, because um, if you can take out the enemy pilot, you will probably win. So yeah. Just need to reload this. And then you just connect up the entity to the entity. Like that. And we'll spawn a vehicle. Um, actually, we can spawn a real vehicle. Um, all the ACF missiles aren't super agile. Um, they kind of turn, but they don't turn that greatly. Okay, tanks. Let's see what the ABC goes for. Put it down there. All right. Whoa, nice suspension. And you can see it's already targeted. Uh, however, we should go here. Um, and it find the target so we can just see if it can hit it from this distance okay fire did we not connect up fire and it did indeed was able to with its heat shell hit target from even this angle like that isn't that very nice and you can see it deals some damage these heat shells are you know armor penetrating too uh, and it tries to target the vehicle specifically now what you also can do is uh, wire it up using the ranger um, so that will basically make a system that will follow your aim so if you have an airplane and you're flying around like this and then you have a ranger just facing forward or your airplane um, you could make it basically hit where you aim your nose or if you have a turret you can make a turret with a ranger on so you basically have a um, mouse aim so it's not only mouse aim but it the missile will complete, will uh, continue to follow where you aim. Um, so if you go here, default to zero, no beam. Also, when when you have the target finder, um, you should wire up the buttons for select next target, so you can toggle um, targets and also connect up text screens so you know what target it is. But basically, I guess you won't have so many targets. Uh, you will want to make it target the closest one, and it will probably be uh, true what you want to target, like, you know, most of the time. If you have several seats on your vehicle, uh, you can set up the minimum range of the target finder to maybe 200, 100, and you will never get targeted on your own entity. Isn't that nice? Now, show beam, you don't need that, but we will use that just because you know. Uh, ignore world should not be checked. Because if, if ignore world is checked, we basically have no idea. You know, we need to hit um, the entity for it to follow, and we maybe want to steer it in the ground where an enemy is located. Hit water can be checked, that's probably actually better. 
So, um, I'm output entity. Best be checked. And we will just. Um, well, we can weld it to the weapon and just make it hit from there, but we don't need to. Uh, we can basically aim it. You know, we can steer it a bit. Only a little bit, though. Entity, like that. Um, whoops. No, wait. Now I said something crazy. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Um, this one is not target entity. Uh, take vector and put a vector onto the ranger. Whoops. Now we need to wait for it to fire and... Da -da 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 -da. What have I done now? Okay, confusion. So what we want to output position, output distance, all right. This is interesting. Position, vector, okay. Ranger, let's check the settings. Water position angle. Da, 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 da. All right. Excuse me. Confusion has been understood. Um, so basically, you can connect up both of them. Um, if you select target vector, which is uh, probably what you should do, you can see. It basically will give a position on the ground and then we can fire and it will steer towards it. Now if we however whoops, connect up the entity to the entity output on this one, you see entity is zero now which basically means no target if we click, if we aim this very carefully, so it the beam actually hits the vehicle, we will get the entity position. When we have this entity position, we can, when it has done some reloading, wait five million seconds. Did it slide off? Yep, it did. Okay, now it has. And it got the entity output, so now it will steer. Uh, and this slowly rolls away, which basically, you know. So, in conclusion, it's better to connect it up to output position, but if you want to be really safe that it only hits the target when it actually has a target, um, you can put it on output entity, so you will have a more, you know, secure system, if you so say. Let's just fire one more. And the missile make a little beep when it's uh, loaded too, so that's nice. Oh well. Let's move on here to the ACF menu. Um, where were we? Yes, air to surface missiles. Uh, general purpose bomb is nest, folding fin, I already showed it. Guided bomb unis, unit. Um, it's the page way. Um, this work as the missiles um, I just showed you. You want to connect it up to, for, for this one, I really recommend you connect it up to target finder. And you can connect up the target finder uh, in such a way that it... Uh, where is the target finder now? Somewhere here. Just to show... here we have it. Um, so, you know, big maximum range, big minimum range. Um, then you could 
target uh, target props also yeah and it will you know target the uh, just a minimum range should be added to maybe so that your own vehicle won't be hit um, oh shit like that this should be at least one yes not that I can see the text but ma maximum number of something so um, con you could basically make it target anything so it will lock onto the closest stuff you're above uh, and you when you fly your bomb over something you want to drop it and the bomb the pageway bomb will try to steer its fin uh, with its fin try to steer towards the target so it's not really um, it's a bit guided but not that much but well you need to connect up a wire system for them let's see her next would be air surface to air missiles which is basically you know here we have you know Strela 4 whoops select the correct tool here you can select a four launching pod like this now this is was the one the four is awesome it's so cool and oh um i think these missiles are a bit protected against shots. I can't promise that, but I think it was this one. It's really bulky and really heavy. <clears throat> As we look at weight, you can see it's only 50. Wow. Well, it's bulky. <laughs> These types of missiles are, as we shown before, radar <clears throat> missiles. Um, so if you go and uh, go into ammunition, see her ammo. Whoops, not ammo box. Strela, Sam. Okay. You can select radar, so you can select the specific wire target. It just exactly works like what we shown before: air to air missiles. You, it will basically just try to hit the target in front of it, and uh, oh, it's kind of usable. We can connect it up because why not? Just choose something random here. Uh, well, this one will be contact. Maybe we can make it get stuck in the ground just to show you. Like that. Oh, so few shots, maybe. Reload. And fire. Well, you can see the missiles are cutely sticking out like this when they're loaded. And it said ready for launch. However, we will um, connect up this little anti missile system too. So we have large. 2000 kilos, this little box. That's interesting. Okay, it wasn't very little. Webs and we <laughs> we will make a cool build here. Oh shit! Oh well, fine. And it will be you know it will be active <laughs> when this is on. You can see it rotates around searching for missiles. Um, now let's see what we'll choose here. You can choose a lamp or something on the wire mini, of course. Um, 
or maybe sound. Yeah, that would be cooler. Okay, okay, okay. I just searched for it. Sound emitter. Okay, cool. That's the cool sound we want. Damn it. Gmod menu corporate. Okay, square. And this will be. I think it's A. On detected. Now, I think this will work now. When we fire a missile, it will understand that something is incoming. Hopefully. Yes, it worked. Pan fantastic. I'm happy. So, it now has a radar jammer, so... No, not radar jammer. It has a radar detection system. When we fire, it will say, Holy shit, a missile is incoming. And that's basically what you use them for. And nothing else. Alright. What is this? Oh well, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a super cool thing here. Um... You know when I mentioned the you can steer missiles? Um, now it's basically you know the same way of connection up. I sure you figure it out. Uh, but you can connect your missiles. Of course not this type because this is a radar type. Um, so it will never cooperate with us. Um, but the other type where you need to connect it up with uh, you know wire stuff. Um, like target finder, GPS, I don't know. You can also use the laser pointer receiver and connect it up to that. Now this does not work of course because this, this, this is the wrong you know, thing. Uh, but if this was a missile type that would work, then you could steer your missiles using the... Um, where is it now? Other... Um, laser pointer... Ah, here we have it. Using this. So you could launch a missile and you can stand on your boat in your own person and just charge and it will basically start to flying towards that direction. Wow! Well, isn't that really awesome? Let's make a cool cam. Cool cam. Oh well. Um, can I click? Hi. Well, anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. This has been Jimmyism Total Nerdy Channel, um, showing you off everything you need to know about the ACF missiles. And I do hope this has been an enjoyable episode for you. And I also want to um, apologize to the uh, around 180 people that could see my flawed thing before I took it down uh, from the YouTube. But this is now the official tutorial that's up to standard I want to keep on this channel. As many of you kind people told me about, uh, you know, some features I misunderstood. But now it's all fixed and I hope you're happy with the result and well, if you're new here, subscribe for more. We do, you know, uh, right now I do one video like every week, every, every day, but usually it's like a few videos per week or something like that, you know. New videos every week, that I can promise, I think. <laughs> Anyways, um, stay tuned in, like my videos to support this thing, and you know, if you have resources, you can go to Patreon too. I created an account, not that I expect anything, but you know, why not? So, have a great time, Jiminism Total Nerd Channel, officially out.